What's up? What's good? How we doing? And welcome. My name is Shade Dope and today I have for you a Christmas inspired winged eyeliner look that I am totally obsessed with. I hope you guys love it and enjoy it. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe um, and hit that notification bell so you can know when I'm uploading and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Okay, so our hair is pulled back and my face is already prepped and primed. Um, we started with the brows on. I'm going to use the NARS foundation. It's the Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation in the color Macau. And I like this foundation a lot because it has a pump. So you can just like, you can pump it onto your hand or you can pump it onto your brush. It depends on you. So I just did two pumps just now. Um, and then I usually have it on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna dab it. Little dots all over my face. Sometimes I use three pumps when I'm feeling like super extra, but lately I've been feeling, I don't know. I'm looking up at a larger mirror in front of me and I also have a mirror right here to the side, so I apologize in advance, sorry. And then I'm gonna go in with a wet, damp, uh, well it's not wet, it's damp, Beauty Blender. Uh, this one is from Forever 21, I believe. Um, I have the regular Beauty Blender and some other sponges too. And it's gonna go right in and tap that foundation or pounce, whichever word you prefer, all over my face. All right, so we have that all into our skin. Um, and you really want your sponge to be damp because you don't want all your foundation to be absorbed into the sponge. You want it on your face. And then I just take whatever excess on the sponge and just bring it down my neck and into my forehead. Okay, now we're gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna use the same concealer that I used to uh, clean up my brows, which is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Caramel. Sis, why didn't you tell me my lips were so dry? Sheesh. Well, that's because I, <laughs> I had just taken a shower and cleansed my face and did like a lip, a lip exfoliation. So, <laughs> Shorty is out here looking like I just ate powdered donuts. Okay, here we go. So now I'm going to go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer again, but in the color Dark Coffee. For my I've been like obsessed with cream contouring lately. I don't know what it is. Okay, underneath this chin, because I definitely have a long face. Um, and then we're just going to pull this here. Just in case somebody takes a picture from below. Make sure our neck and chin is snatched. And then I'm just going to take this down my nose. We're going to be super light with the tool so it doesn't put too much product. And beneath, to turn our nose up. Oh my God, it looks so crazy right now. That's fine, I'm gonna blend this all out in two seconds. So I'm going to take my sponge, the foundation, the side that has foundation on it already, I'm gonna take this and blend my contour out with it and then I'm gonna take the clean side and I'm gonna blend my highlight out with it. And with the contour color, you want to like kind of blend up, up to push your cheekbones up. I absolutely adore the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer for this. I, I decided to pick up the NARS because I've always used the Radiant Creamy Concealer for highlighting, but for contouring, no, so. And I'm loving it so far. It's just so, it just blends in, like, do you see that? melts into the skin I'm gonna hit our forehead sometimes I feel like I have a big forehead sometimes I feel like I don't I don't know maybe you guys can tell me <laughs> 
I swear, I feel like sometimes my forehead is like ginormous. So damn this down on the paper towel. Um, and blend out my highlight. But what's the tea on any, um, give me some like new concealers or um, contour colors. Maybe even foundation. I hear people use the Too Faced one. I hear that one's like super good. And you're just going to blend like any of the extra product down onto the and really around this area, like directly underneath my eye, I don't really move. I'm literally tapping and just pressing it right into the same spot. Like, see how it's just like becoming one slowly. And the trick with the nose contour is like blend it into your eyebrow and it'll make it look way more natural versus like the contour shade starting like right here. Like, all right. I swear, the faces that we make when we do our make our makeup, we look so crazy. Like, <laughs> oh my god! Imagine like all the screen. If someone was like screenshotting you while you were doing your makeup, you would probably look insane. Oh my gosh! I just love it. I just love it. And their little nosy nose. So I'm just blending the highlighter that I put beneath my contour to make it like extra snatched. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Seamless. Ooh, I ain't even put any powder on yet. Sometimes I like to take the back of the beauty blender um, where there's no product and I just like go all over all over my face. Voila, she is snatched. So now I'm going to set my highlighter. I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier powder, translucent powder. And what you wanna do is like press the powder into your skin. Just tapping it is keeping the product where it was supposed to be and setting at the same time. And then we're gonna go in with um, Sephora Collections. It's their Matte Perfection Powder Foundation, which I just use it as like my setting powder, but I guess it's the foundation powder um, in the color 64 Neutral Mocha, which this is what the packaging looks like. Ooh. All right. So <laughs> let's try that again. This is what the packaging looks like. our brush into the powder like this. I don't usually swirl, I like tap and see that much product on the brush and then I'm just going to also tap this into my skin. I feel like this powder, um, I actually got this recommendation from Alyssa Ashley. She uses this powder and swears by it and I was like, <laughs> Stop playing. And I honestly do feel like it literally makes my makeup look like. So now we're gonna go in with the Morphe Contour Palette, um, which it just has a 06 PW on the back of it, so I'm not sure. But it would be this one, which I'm assuming would be like a dark or a deep version of this one. Um, I actually love this palette, and it's lasted me for so long. And then I'm gonna take the, it's a Morphe um, angled domed brush for contouring. This shade and this shade here. And like, I literally hold a brush like by the tip, 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 because I don't want any harsh contour. Like I want it to be, you know, lightly buffed into my skin. So make sure you hold it at the end. Blending brush, like a domed blending brush like this. Um, gonna go in on the sides of my nose with this. Or on the nose. 
And the, I'm like so light handed on the nose. See, like it's like ever so slightly. Because there's nothing worse than like going in to do your nose contour and you either have way too much product on your brush or you use like too dark of a shade. Literally, your entire makeup look is like ruined. Oh my god, so I'm super excited about this product. I just picked this up. I went to Sephora yesterday and I spent like almost $300. Like it was, I was just picking up stuff like, mind you, when I first walked in, the guy's like, oh, do you need a bag? I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm just here for brush cleaner. I took one look at the Bobbi Brown section and I was like, oh no, I walked right back to the front and was like, hi, can I have a bag? <laughs> so I picked up this Bobbi Brown um, Shimmer Brick Compact Highlighter in bronze. Oh my god, like unreal. So this is the packaging. I love it's all shiny. And there's the name on the back. And you just oh, do you see this? Like, oh my god, the camera's not even picking it up. But on my skin, I just swipe my brush like completely just like all over it and then just dust it onto my skin. And I love the color. I'm sure if I just use one, each one is like absolutely like stunning. Like, hold on, let me see. I'm gonna literally just go like this. Ready, ready? Like, oh, do you see that? Bl oh, Bobby. Mm, mm, mm. And I love that it has a mirror, obsessed. Um, so I'm gonna go in, this is just a BH Cosmetics uh, blending brush. Looks like this, a little domed. Um, I have, I bought a bunch of brand new blending brushes, but I'm gonna film a haul for you guys. So there's still new packaging and all that good stuff, so. We're gonna use it, and I'm just gonna go in right here. Do you see that? Oh my gosh! Oh, uh, oh, uh. oh! Like, should I go back in? I could stay like this, but why? This is it though, cause you don't wanna get, I don't wanna get gross. <laughs> forehead, cause I don't even, I don't know. I don't like bringing too much attention to my forehead. I brush just above my brows. Uh, I'm gonna hit down the middle of the nose. All right, so now we're gonna get into the nitty gritty of this tutorial. So I'm gonna take the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion onto my lid. Cause I have like super oily lids, like they are bad. And this stuff here literally keeps it. So just squeeze a little bit, just like that. I'm actually gonna use that between both eyes. Might even be too much. And I typically go in with my finger and just tap it on. Some people use a brush, but I don't know. I find that the finger melted a little bit better. With the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, mine is like super dirty, it's like velvet. Ugh, love this packaging, but it doesn't stay clean for long. And I'm gonna go into this. I think I'm gonna do raw sienna. Yeah, raw sienna is gonna be the color today. Just a little bit. And I raise my brows and I just tap that right into the brow bone. And then we're gonna go in with golden ochre, um, which is just like a nude shade here, for me anyways. Take a little flat blending, a uh, flat shadow brush, geez. And we're just going to tap that. See how pigmented the shadow is? I'm going to take the Sephora cream lip stain and I'm just going to put it on like the back of my hand like this. I'm going to go in with my eyeliner brush. So I'm going to start in the middle. Just like that. And I'm going to pull the product across my eyelid. Now you want to work fast because it does dry. So basically, I'm just like measuring what size wing I'm about to have. It 
See? Just like that. Now this may get a little bit fatter when we go into pull into our wing, but we're gonna see. We're gonna start small. Now I'm gonna pull the line out. Just like that, very thin. And then I'm gonna pull it inwards. Just like that. Mm-hmm. So I have my green on the back of my hand. I'm sorry, I'm like so bad with putting liner on my left eye. Oh gosh. And holding and trying to film it. Like what? What am I trying to do right now? Okay, so I added my lashes. I added some uh, green and red shadow on the bottom lash line. And I also added a little bit of white in my waterline just to like brighten the eyes a little bit. And then I did use a white shadow from the Beach Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette um, in my inner corner right there just to brighten me up. And I also, that's where I got my green and my red from. So this is what the palette looks like. And I use that white and I use this green and I use this red. So for my lip, I think I'm just gonna do a pinky nude. What do you got? I don't know. What should we do? I almost forgot lower lash mascara. All right, so I'm gonna go in with MAC Cosmetics Lip Pencil in Chestnut. going to go in with Urban Decay's lipstick in this is their comfort matte in the color 1993 looks like these this is like a super like super duper true nude for me then I'm going to go over that with Urban Decay's Hi-Fi Shine Lip Gloss, which this is like super sexy too, in the color Fuel. <laughs> vroom, vroom, bitches. And this has like peppermint or something in it. I live for like the, the smell. Oh my God, so good. That's what it looks like. Okay, so I did bright it up just a smidge with, uh, I added a uh, Sephora cream lip stain in 13. Um, this is a little pink, just to brighten it up, just a smidge. My Fix Plus, my MAC Cosmetics. Okay guys, so this is the final look. 
What do you guys think? How do you like it? Let me come in so you can see this green and this red. What do we think? Do we like, do we love? I am totally feeling this simple way to be like festive and in with the season, Christmassy, you know what I Thank mean? Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys soon and remember, stay dope.